Classic Restos, proudly brought to you by Shannon's Insurance, Hare and Forbes Machinery House, Ryko Filters, Evans Waterless Coolants and Pace Farm. Hello and welcome to Classic Restos. On this week's show, I'm in Birdwood in South Australia at a very special place to showcase an awesome event. But first, here is some important information from people that play an integral part of bringing us Classic Restos each and every week. It's thanks to Shannon's. Ask about multi-policy discounts and sign up for the Shannon's Club. Call 134646 for a quote and see more at shannons.com.au. And Heron Forbes has the range. Buy online at machinerynhouse.com.au. Well, here I am at the National Motoring Museum, and you'll see more about that on next week's show. Today it's about what's happening on the inside. Well, you better grab your dancing gear, because this is one of the largest 1950s music-themed dance parties in the hills of South Australia. Welcome to the 2017 Rock and Roll Rendezvous. The Rock and Roll Rendezvous is an annual day of fun and entertainment celebrating everything to do with rock and roll. Yes, let's wind the clock back, shall we, to a bygone era for just a moment, because in lots of ways, it leaves 2017 in the dust. Back in a time when a single wage ran a family, a time when dressing up was almost a daily procedure, showcasing your own pride, a time when going out dancing was good, clean fun with your hot date, a time when you borrowed your father's car for the night and he actually knew about it. These were the times of innocence by today's standards. Guys would slick back the hair, the girls would throw on the polka dot dress and go out. In the United States you may have driven a Chevy, and here in Australia at the time you may have been lucky enough to have been driving a Holden. This event is a true celebration of the rock and roll era, with hundreds of classics, muscle cars, bikes, fashion parades and live music. The event is also a proud supporter of the Down Syndrome South Australia and has supported this charity since 2007. How cool are these events? When we consider what we have, the Shepherd and Shakeout, for example, in Victoria in the east, and this incredible rendezvous here in the west in South Australia, combining the rock and roll and the classic car lifestyle together, it's a pretty neat way to spend your Sunday. With me now, I have the privilege of having the museum director Paul Rees. How are you, Paul? I'm very good, mate. I'm very good. And you scrub up quite well, don't you? Absolutely. I get the makeup delivered in 20 litre drums. Well, it's a bit, it's a bit less than what I get. Yeah, and, I, and I have it put on with a spatula. <laughs> Mine's with a shovel sometimes. <laughs> Paul, it's early in the day here. Obviously, we're in for something huge. What can people expect when they visit the rendezvous here at Birdwood? Well, the rendezvous really is a celebration of um, motoring culture. You know, and I, I think we, the museum loves putting on the rendezvous because it's about the 50s, 60s and 70s. The music, the clothes, the attitude, the vibes. But really, what we're celebrating as a museum is the popular ownership of vehicles and the, the impact that had on culture, the impact it had on rock and roll, yes. um, well, had, had on music through rock and roll, the, attitude, the, um, the impact it had on teenagers and the freedom. And all of a sudden, we're able to travel around and, you know, and, 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 and cruise and hang out um, and do all sorts of things in cars. It's such a, it's such a recipe, isn't it? It's yeah. the whole era. As you say, it's not just one, it's a whole combination of things. The rock and roll music, the classic cars, lifestyle, clothing, everything yeah. combined. And, you know, when you come to an event like this, it, it gives you that atmosphere. It's as though you've gone back in time. It's a moving time capsule. Mm, absolutely, yeah. And, but it's also, and, and I think there's a lot of old rock and rollers come out to this, but we're also seeing a new generation coming out and um, they look sharp you know they 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 there's a I'm not sure if you call them hipsters but it's definitely a an honoring of things that are old 
uh, things that are, um, are nostalgic and they dress and they, they party and they get involved in all the aspects of the culture. It's great. This wonderful event is here on the grounds at Birdwood next to the National Motor Museum. Now on next week's episode of Classic Restos, there'll be more of a special feature of emphasis on that right next to us. But in the meantime, Paul, I'll let you go. We're in for a huge day, mate. Thanks for catching up. Wonderful to uh, have you, a Fletch. talk to you. And thanks for looking so sharp for the day, mate. Good on you. It's all right, mate. <laughs> <laughs> After all these years, it has to come easy sooner or later. <laughs> and the first car to start the day rolling. Wow, this is beautiful. Hello, Philomena. Hi, Fletch. How are you? I'm great. This, uh, this car of yours, honestly, uh, where did you find it? Oh, we saw it at a cruise last year, yep. uh, rolling along, and we loved it and yep. made the man an offer, and we bought it that night. It's incredible. 1965, it's a Chevelle, a Malibu. It is. Chevelle Malibu, yes. We love it. Yeah, it's lots of lots of red, Philomena. Yes, lots of red. Through your eyes, driving this classic Chevy. Yes. It's got a big 454 up front. How do you feel? Oh, it feels wonderful. Just beautiful. Well, I mean, this is the thing. I mean, we, we often make mention to uh, to the new vehicles, and uh, sure, they do everything properly. They they stop and they steer, and they're very safe. But they've lost their class. It's when we look at cars like this. That's where we can appreciate. Uh, they're just like massive pieces of jewellery, aren't they? That's true. Yes, and all the chrome work on it, just magic. Yeah, yeah. they're beautiful. Um, yeah. It was also back in a time too where they used to colour code the interiors as to the exterior paint colour of the car most times as well. And when you look at the, the leather interior here with these bucket seats, the condition of it all, uh, it's just a big invitation just to want to get into it. That's right. It's just, yeah, I can't say any more. It's just beautiful, lovely to drive. We love it. Where have you come from? Highbury, South Australia. Okay, now because I'm not geographically educated yes. for these parts, is that very far? Just from, uh, just the at the end of the foothills, you yep. know, going down that way, or yep. the beginning coming up, yeah. And, and what's your thoughts here of the uh, National Motor Museum oh, here at Birdwood? They do a wonderful show. We come every year. We've been coming for the last oh, eight years, I think. Yep. Yeah, with our other cars, and it's just a beautiful day out, family yep. day. Okay, Philomena, enjoy your day. I mean, i just got to showcase this car. It is just absolutely gorgeous. I'm, I'm sure you'll agree. All right, take yeah, thank care. Thank you, Fletch. Thanks. Have a thank good day. You. We've always had a few cars. They're all special. The T-Bird. Oh, that's mine. The Combi for when we want to get away. The XR8. It's going to be a classic. They're all insured with Shannon's. We've also got Shannon's home and contents cover. Which helps protect our automotive collectibles, tools and memorabilia in the home and garage. If you're motoring enthusiasts like us, it's got to be. Shannon's. Shannon's. Insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. Australia's changed over the last 80 years, and Ryco Filters has changed with it. But one thing stayed the same. Ryco's commitment to develop and test all our filters under Australian conditions. Today, we're proudly celebrating our 80-year commitment to a design philosophy that ensures all oil, air and fuel filters meet or exceed vehicle manufacturer's specifications, delivering genuine quality and performance you can trust. Ryco Filters, the professional's choice. If you have a restoration project, Hair and Forbes has the tools that you need. Look at these restoration products. Shrinker stretchers, dollies, mallets, bead rollers, profile gauges, professional panel restoration kits, and so much more. Now I warn you, enter at your own risk because you will end up buying something. So come along to your Cap City store or browse and buy online at machineryhouse.com.au because Heron Forbes has the range. Evans waterless engine coolant. Simple to install and stays good for the life of the engine. Suitable for all engine types, Evans contains no water, eliminating corrosion, vapour pressure and overheating. With a boiling point of 190 degrees Celsius, there's no application or environment too extreme. EvansCoolants.com.au Water for drinking, Evans for cooling. Moving through the wonderful 2017 Rock and Roll Rendezvous. How are you, Ray? Very well, thank you, Fletch. That's good. It's nice of you to turn up. Oh, we always like to come to these shows. Yeah. They're, they're good, good, fun. good for you. You're here with your wife today? Yes, yeah, Yvonne's yeah. over there, yes. Yeah. 
Yes. Now, Ray, I have a bit of a soft spot for the EH. I've got to say, I've got a soft spot for a lot of the old Holdens. Uh, wonderful old car. How long have you had this one? Uh, we've had it to 20 years. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And has it always been in this condition? Uh, yes, yeah, it was It was bog stock standard when we got it, and yeah. that's the way I like them, and yeah. I like to keep it as, it as it was. I think it's lovely. You've got the Venetian blind across the yes, back of the yeah. screen. Yes, and we have uh, wheel spats to cover in half the back wheel, which yes. makes them look a bit... Upmarket. Yeah. I have to also admire, uh, it takes me back to when I was a kid when uh, miles an hour was slowly being converted to kilometres and you'd often see a piece of paper up on the dashboard uh, of the speed conversions and you've still got yours oh, sitting up there. One sitting up there, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think it's wonderful you've got this car here, this beautiful EH. We look at the interior, uh, the interior is like the day that it left Holden. Ray, I just want to uh, thank you on the behalf for coming along. It's absolutely wonderful having an opportunity to interview you, to think uh, you're in your senior years and you're coming along to these car shows, and uh, I'm a bit lost for words for that. I've, I just have a, an amazing amount of respect for that. Uh, good on you. All right. Thank you very much, Fletch. Fletch, you, you have uh, wonderful programs on TV. Too. Thank you. We all right, well, you, you take care of yourself, Ray, and don't let the wind blow that hat off, all right? No, it's super glued onto the, onto the bulge box. <laughs> uh, I tell you what, you, you take me back to when my grandfather was around. It, it means a lot. Good on you, Ray, well done. Thank you very much, Fletch. You, Depicting the rock and roll era, sitting here in all its exuberance, of course, a 1959 Cadillac. Hello, Elio. How are you, Fletch? I'm great, mate. You? Yeah, really good. Doing what, well. What are you thinking of the event so far? The event's fantastic. Hopefully this weather decides to hold out on us. Absolutely, especially with a car like this. Now, OK, wow, what a story here. We've got a four-door, a 59 Cadillac, every nut and bolt. Looks like it's uh, it's had a bit of polish around it. Tell us the rundown on it, mate. Yeah, look, this uh, it is an original car in the, f in the sense of the original sheet metal and glass and the chrome. Uh, look, the car spent its life in America. Uh, the guy I bought it off did a full nut and bolt restoration. It uh, stopped driving on the roads in America about 1986. Uh, the guy bought it off Jim, he lives in Oregon. So he saw the tail end of it out of a shed one day and uh, approached the person. He purchased it, did a full nut and bolt resto. He sent me about 480 odd photos of the restoration, three videos. And I he, bought it within he, about 20 minutes. He could have at least sent you 500. Yeah, well, that's what I sort of said to him, yeah. and at least an extra video. But, hey, <laughs> we, we can't choose everything. You know, I say, I've said this many times on the show, you do get a little lost for words sometimes when you see these cars. It is absolutely stunning. This is a brilliant example of a 59. Um, when we look around the car, we look at paint, we look at the bright work, every angle, it looks sensational. Engine bay is incredible, the beautiful, the iconic Cadillac 390 doing a wonderful job sitting up front there. Even down to fine detail, like the uh, windscreen washer bottle uh, with the right sticker on top there, uh, describing what additive you should use uh, for the washer bottle. It's all that type of stuff, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's right, and that's the car I was looking for, total originality. When we look at the era of 1959, they were very uh, ahead of their time in a lot of ways. The, these were one heck of a heavy-duty machine. When we look uh, forward of the radiator support panel, there is just so much room there, obviously for air conditioning yeah, uh, accessories, right? That's right, yeah. So, you know, they, they were very versatile in the fact that um, the car could have many different variants. This is a non-air-conditioned vehicle, but with an air-conditioned vehicle, you just put the radiator to the front of the support panel, you put the condenser in front of that and a fan shroud to cool it down. Yeah. However, once you do that, you can still probably put an Esky out the front and cool your beers down as well, I'm sure of it. <laughs> Absolutely. When we look in the front too, we've got battery over on the left-hand side. Over on the right where the horns are, that was also the provision for a second battery. When these things were made into limousines and an extra three or four feet longer, dual air-conditioning yeah, units, one in, one in back, extra battery in front. The list goes on and on and on. Let's look at the back of the car. Talk about rocket ship space age styling. I mean, is this in the George Jetson era or what? Oh, look, uh, back when, the, in, I think in the 50s when, uh, you know, America was plentiful, it was land of opportunity, you know, man on the moon, all that sort of stuff. And, you know, they just designed it into their cars. The bigger, the better, you know, the, the rocket fins at the back to emulate the fighter jets, you know, that are going to space and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. So, 
Look, uh, the designer, Harley Earl, was just, he was ahead of his time, way ahead of his time. And I think the whole of the manufacturing automotive industry in America yes. ahead of their time. I mean, you're talking about electric seats, 1959, cruise control, all that sort of gear. I mean, yeah, just fantastic. Yeah. It's a very opulent motor vehicle. Interior on the car, Elio, absolutely amazing. Open the back door. One in interesting thing uh, that you pointed out to me too was the different level of the floor pans with the 59. Yeah. Well, look, um, I'm not quite sure why they did that. My theory would be so that gives the passengers in the back seat a more comfortable ride. Whereas, you know, your feet are lower, you're sitting a bit lower and you're sort of sunk back into your chair a bit more. Um, look, I noticed that uh, a very interesting fact when I was uh, researching these cars. And, you know, I tried to research why they did that, but that would be my theory, just to give the passengers a yeah. better ride. Elio, it's been an absolute pleasure, mate. Uh, having yourself and this car on Classic Restos, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Fletch, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the bit of the history on it. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity to share my passion with everyone else. Good on you, Thank mate. you so much, Fletch. Uh, that's my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. I spend a lot of time out here. The RT Charger's the real deal. An E49. Remember A Charger? I've always got projects on the go, so Shannon's laid up cover helps protect my restorations. I'm Mopar through and through. It's a passion Shannon's understands. I wouldn't insure my cars and bikes with anyone else. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. Evans Waterless Engine Coolant. Simple to install and stays good for the life of the engine. Suitable for all engine types, Evans contains no water, eliminating corrosion, vapour pressure and overheating. With a boiling point of 190 degrees Celsius, there's no application or environment too extreme. EvansCoolants.com.au Water for drinking, Evans for cooling. Australia's changed over the last 80 years and Ryko Filters has changed with it. But one thing stayed the same. Ryko's commitment to develop and test all our filters under Australian conditions. Today, we're proudly celebrating our 80-year commitment to a design philosophy that ensures all oil, air and fuel filters meet or exceed vehicle manufacturer's specifications, delivering genuine quality and performance you can trust. Ryko Filters, the professional's choice. Heron Forbes Machinery House has been family owned and operated for over 85 years and it's easy to see why. And with a range like this, you cannot go wrong. Planning on welding? Look at these welding tables and clamps, air compressors and different air tools, sandblasting cabinets, through to spray guns. Everyone is welcome at Machinery House and they're also open Saturday mornings. Their range of machine tools are workshop tested. There are competitive freight rates around Australia and you can buy online at machinerihouse.com.au. So remember, Hare and Forbes has the range. Moving through the genres from the United States now to Germany. How are you, Sandra? Very well, thank you, Fletch. How are you? Good, thank you. Now, this is a, a beautiful bus you've got here, 1959. Uh, what can you tell us about it? Well, we found it five years ago um, back in Queensland. We had it transported all the way to Adelaide on a trailer. Um, it was an absolute wreck. Um, it was rusty all over, falling apart. Yeah. But um, yeah, we, we really loved it um, and we decided to do it up. Yeah. Three years later, yeah, we had it finally restored and we've been driving it now for a year and we absolutely love it. That's good. I mean, obviously Volkswagens go back a long way with you. And when you're a little girl, uh, you remember them from way back? Yeah, um, so I'm fa still fairly young, but <laughs> the bus is a lot older than me. But um, That's good. <laughs> um, ever since uh, I grew up, I've, I've seen them driving around uh, Europe and I always wanted one. They're so in vogue. I mean, the following that the Volkswagens have, it doesn't really matter. It can be a Beetle, it can be the Type 3 shape, we can go through to a splitty van, it doesn't matter. If it's got the old VW logo on the front, it's, it's cool. Yeah. Um, also, to the level of restorations and what gets done to these things, they're either ratted out or they're done to perfection, like what you've done here. Yeah, indeed. Um, so the Volksy, the, the Combi, turns so many heads um, when we're driving out in the hills. Yeah. It's everyone... Um, um, yeah, just loves it and puts 
says hi, puts their hands up. Uh, yeah. 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 Good for you. And I mean, obviously, it's big enough for the three of you. You have a lot of fun there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, we also have a dog. Unfortunately, she hasn't been in there yet, but right. that's our next project that, yeah. she, that she can lie in the back. Yeah. So, yeah. No, Sandra, I love it. I really do. And uh, look, well done uh, to yourself and your husband for this Thank restoration. It, it really is a very special van. Thank yeah, you. It is. Thank you very much, Fletch. Well, of course, every major event is not possible without the support of sponsors. And in this case, this guy here deserves a mention, Andy Sutton. Now, how many years have you been a sponsor here of this event? Uh, we've been sponsored for 11 years, Fletch. What do you specialise in, Andy? Well, we've got various uh, parts to our business. We've got a, uh, an, an enhancement business for the current Mustangs. Uh, we do all kinds of normal servicing. We're a Repco authorised service centre as well. Yep. So there's a, a number of things that we... Uh, uh, I guess specialise in, but uh, uh, we've been restoring cars and importing them for 10 or 15 years. Yep. So really, I guess we're a one-stop shop for everything. Yeah, good on you. Well done, Andy. On my behalf, thank you very much for uh, being such a long-term sponsor. Uh, the event keeps on going. It attracts other monies to come in. Behind the scenes, off to a great charity uh, with um, Down Syndrome South Australia. Uh, so again, thank you. My pleasure. And speaking of the importance of sponsors, well, of course, Shannons are here supporting this event, as they do pretty well 95% of events around the country. How are you doing, Jeff? Yeah, very well, Fletch. How are you today? Good, mate. Good. Tell us the significance, uh, and through your eyes, being a long-term supporter here now for, what, over 10 years? Correct, correct. Yeah, we've been involved with the event for quite a long time, um, as we do quite a lot with uh, History SA and the National Motor Museum. Uh, this place hosts many events across the, the calendar year, and a couple of the bigger events, like Rock and Roll Rendezvous and, of course, uh, Beta Birdwood, um, switching the two years between Classic and uh, the Beta Birdwood run. Over the years, Jeff, how have you seen the show evolve? Um, the, the show just continues to grow. Um, look, they do a really, really good job in, in engaging the public and getting you know, different types of people in here. Um, and these types of events, um, as you know, like they're the people that are here, they're real lifestyle enthusiasts, yep. so it's just all about the rock and roll, it's about uh, the music, it's about the clothes, yep. and it's about the cars. Yep. Um, that's obviously why we're here at Shannon's. Yeah. Absolutely, Jeff. There's no doubt about it. The big green tent, it seems to attract. Absolutely, <laughs> yes, it sure does. And look, and this is what we do every Sunday. What yep. separates us from other insurance companies, you know, we share the passion, we fly the flag, yep. we're there for the motoring enthusiasts, and it's really, really important yep. for us to yep. be standing on the grass yep. at these, these events every weekend. Absolutely, Jeff. It's great to see you and the team here mate and uh, keep up the great work. Thanks Fletch. All right. In the meantime become a member of the Shannons Club and see more at shannons.com.au. Thanks Jeff. Thank you very much. Got a bit of a character now. His name's Max. How you doing, buddy? Not bad, Fletch. That's good. You uh, didn't want any exposure. No, not too much. No. No. Well, well, what we'll do, we'll just keep it. We'll keep it low profile, okay? Yeah, okay. All yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just keep it down to a, a few hundred thousand people that see this. All oh. right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. No, no, a little bit too many. Bit too many. Mm. Uh, have you had a good day? Yeah, quite a good day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah been a bit bit uh, weathery, but. Yeah. Uh, it's been a good day, yeah. The reason I'm picking on you is you've got a 64XM two-door coupe. This is a car that obviously you, you've done yourself quite a while ago. Can you tell us something about it? Um, well, I bought it, uh, I paid $650 for it, and it was all in pieces, and I uh, put it all together and uh, did all the work ourselves, my, myself and my wife. Yep. Nothing was farmed out, and only the wheel alignment and things like that, but yes. uh, all the mechanical work, paint work and yep. trim work was all done by us. I mean, hats off to these guys. I mean, come on. I mean, there's people your age sitting at home having a little bit of a whinge, again, with all due respects. You are out in your classic car driving around and you're making the most of things. That's right. That's the only way to go, isn't it? No mm. good sitting on the couch all day. I think it's wonderful. Uh, now, how many years have you had the car and what was it oh, like when you got it, Max? It was, well, as I said before, it was all in pieces and the bloke, some young bloke started to do something and he just got, left it and... I got I got what's left over and all the bits were in the train in the car and you, I you got what was left over. I got what was left over <laughs> and I, I worked from there. Is that a classic resto or what? <laughs> you got to start with the bits that are left over. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it could have just been a floor pan and a seat, Max. And well, you, no, it had um, all the mechanicals were there, but they were just in pieces, and yeah. uh, I don't think you knew how to put it back together. Max, I'm going to let you go because uh, I know you didn't want to be interviewed no, in the first place. No, uh, no. Now, for a guy that didn't want to be interviewed, I think you did very well. Oh, thank you, Fletch. Are you feeling more relaxed? Yeah, well, relax, relax as I can be because I'm a bit up, up a tight person. Bit up. You got no idea what I went through to get Max on the show. It's taken ages, yeah. at least a quarter of an hour of negotiating. Yeah. All right. 
All right. Thanks, Fletch. Okay. On the Sirius department, really love the XM. I think it's a pretty cool jigger for you to run around in. I also know for a fact that your wife has done the upholstery work and all the stitching work on the vinyl. Mm. And again, I think that that is a very, very decent attempt. That's it's a good very job. Good, very good effort, isn't it? Yep. All right. Thanks, Max. Thank you, Fletch. Thank good you. Mate. Bye. I'm so tired from covering this event that I've now got an assortment of chairs to go and sit down on. Just a sample of the magnificent 2017 Rock and Roll Rendezvous put on by the great people of the National Motor Museum here in Birdwood, South Australia. Now on next week's episode of the show, we're going to be going inside the museum to take a detailed look of exactly what is happening in there. As I say at the end of every episode, no matter where you're watching Classic Restos from, until next week, please ride and drive safe. I'm Fletch, and I thank you very much for watching. You can like and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash classic restos TV and watch catch up episodes at shannons.com.au. Classic Restos, proudly brought to you by Shannon's Insurance, Hair and Forbes Machinery House, Ryco Filters, Evans Waterless Coolants, and Pace Farm.